Hello, it's Mrs. Papal here. I'm just taking a little walk in my local park. Um, and here is a view that is from my park of central Bristol. You can probably pick out some landmarks. There's Wills Memorial Building, Cabot Tower just in the distance, St. Mary Redcliffe. Um, so I was thinking, as we are still allowed to go for walks, as long as we observe the two metre walk rule, what sort of things could we do? while we're on our walk. Well, we could think about the history of our area and what it was built for um, and what industry it had. So what I mean by industry is the kind of um, the jobs that people did. So originally the area that I live in, Bedminster, was built to house people who worked in coal mines and factories and also people who worked on the docks because it's quite close to um, Bristol docks and I was just walking through a park this park Victoria Park was built um, around the same time the houses were built to give people fresh air and exercise much like we do today um, so we're just walking further over some of the other suburbs around here, so um, Knoll and Totterdown, were built to house people who worked on Tem at Temple Meads. So you can see the brightly coloured houses. So these areas have changed quite a lot now because people don't work as much in factories. So I was wondering if you could do a project on the history of the area that you live in. So whether that's Mangotsfield or Downend, or even Emerson's Green and Lion Green, because I know they are quite new suburbs, but you could find out why they were built or what was there beforehand. So there's lots and lots you can do, lots of things you can research online and maybe go out and take some pictures or videos when you're on your daily walk.